it is already week 12 of the NFL season, and this is when things start to get really interesting. It seems like just yesterday the season kicked off with the Bills vs. Rams. Even though teams are fighting for their playoff lives or even getting ready to tank and collect a high draft pick, it is never too early to take a look at possible free agents for next season. Here is our list of the under the radar stud free agents for the 2023 season. First up, Von Bell. Safety, Cincinnati Bengals. Bell was part of the Bengals team who burst into the Super Bowl, defeating the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Their victory shocked the football world, but the Bengals team wasn't shocked. They were confident and believed everyone was underrating them all season. Led by the superstar duo of Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, the Bengals came out swinging. But it wasn't just their offense, their defense held their own too. And that was in part due to the skill of Bell. Teams who need to improve their defense shouldn't sleep on safety Von Bell. He's played excellent football as a box safety and has admittedly had his difficulties in coverage. However, this season, Bell has been a hawk for the ball. He's had four interceptions and five knockdown balls. Any teams looking to add a great safety for next season will want to keep their eyes on Von Bell and see if his play continues to excel. He may be the perfect piece to help improve a team's secondary. Moving on to the offensive side of the ball, Paris Campbell, wide receiver, Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts have been one of the huge disappointments of the 2022 NFL season. Pundits and fans alike were picking the Colts to come out and play so good they might represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. Unfortunately for Colts fans, this isn't how things have turned out. Regardless of the team's record, one bright spot has been the emergence of wide receiver Paris Campbell. Drafted in the second round out of Ohio State, Campbell hasn't been the stud the team hoped for. He has been hampered by injuries. He's broken his foot twice and torn MCL. Ouch. But the young man has shown great perseverance and is healthy this season and showing out in his play on the field. He has proved to be a viable second option behind Michael Pittman. Over the course of the season, Campbell has caught over 40 passes for over 450 yards yards and scored three touchdowns. Those numbers may not make you yell with delight, but that's not for lack of trying. The Colts have been off the mark at quarterback all season, but Campbell has been a consistent and reliable pass catcher and should draw interest from teams over the free agent period. If he stays healthy, he will be a hot commodity. And we're back to defense, this time the defensive line. We now have Samson Ebucom, Edge, San Francisco 49ers. It is difficult to get a lot of action accolades on a defensive front like the 49ers have. San Francisco's defense is the best in the league with elite talent all over the field, led by all-pro Nick Bosa. Ebucom has been an excellent addition to their defensive attack, especially early in the season. Through the first eight games of the season, he sacked the opposing QB 3.5 times and added eight QB pressures. That is in addition to 29 tackles, all while largely playing on a rotational basis. He has been sharing snaps all season, playing a little over 60% of the defensive snaps. The free agent class coming up isn't super top heavy with defensive edge rushing talent. Yannick Ngakwe, Marcus Davenport, and one first time selection, Jadevian Clowney, top the list of pass rushers. So, finding a quality player like Ebucom on a budget may be a great addition to a team looking to improve their ability to get pressure on the opposing QB. Up next is another wide receiver, Mac Hollins. Wide receiver, Las Vegas Raiders. As the NFL becomes more and more reliant on the passing game, teams are always on the lookout for talented receivers. Route runners never go out of style. Teams looking to save money for a quality receiver when free agency starts may want to keep their eyes on Mac Hollins. The receiver free agent pool is not a deep one heading into 2023, so doing homework and finding those under the radar players could pay huge dividends for teams who want to bolster their receiver room. Hollins showed some real potential in Miami in 2021, scoring touchdowns on four of his 14 receptions. And this season, with the Raiders, he has proven to keep that trend going upward. He has set career highs with 36 catches, 
catches, as well as 469 receiving yards. He is becoming one of quarterback Derek Carr's most reliable targets. With wide receiver Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller both injured, the Raiders have relied much more on Hollins to take some of the burden off superstar wideout Devontae Adams. Hollins hauled in six balls for 52 yards in week 11, and if he continues to show out and make grabs, it won't be a surprise if teams show a lot of interest when free agency opens. And here's our first QB, Mike White, quarterback, New York Jets. Before you say anything, we know. Mike White? Yeah, yeah. Hear us out. We know Mike White has only had one really good game in the NFL, but that performance was epic. Against the Super Bowl-bound Bengals, White put up 405 yards and three touchdowns. I mean, sure, he's been nothing to write home about since then, but still, he keeps at it. He's taken over the helm in place of 2021 first-round bust. Yeah, I said it. Zach Wilson for the Jets. According to head coach Robert Sala, White will start the remainder of the season. And can you believe believe the Jets have a winning record, I had to reboot my computer to make sure that wasn't an error. The coach and players believe in him. The team has his back. However, time will tell. He's got a lot to prove. But in a fickle world that is pro football, everyone is on the lookout for a quality starting quarterback at a bargain price. If Mike White proves he can play consistently well, he may just land a starting job for a new deal. Have you noticed that most of our free agents are skill positions and defensive line? It's no surprise that up next, we have another hulking defensive lineman. Chris Wormley, defensive line, Pittsburgh Steelers. The NFL is about consistency. Teams need players they can count on from play to play, snap to snap. While Chris Wormley doesn't have eye-popping numbers, he has proven to be versatile. The Steelers use him on the edge and as an interior lineman. This season, he has used his versatility to his advantage, and last year, he registered 7 sacks and 18 quarterback pressures, 2 battle passes, and a fumble, all on top of 51 tackles. His snaps have gone down to 41% this season. This is mostly in part to the off-season addition of Larry Ogonjobi. Who needed more playing time? It isn't his fault that the Steelers have been awful this season. The team's defense ranks 28th, but teams should still monitor warmly. If he shows sparks of the playmaking he's shown before, he'll make an excellent bargain for a team who needs a versatile defensive lineman. We're going back to the offensive side of the ball, but it's not a quarterback and it's not a receiver. It is, however, where most excellent football teams begin their build, on the front line. Isaiah Wynn, offensive lineman, New England Patriots. Wynn is a capable and strong offensive lineman. He can play left or right tackle, which some coaches and teams may see as a strong suit. What makes Wynn Win, a player to watch moving into next season is that he has suffered some injuries and his play has not always been top tier. He has been responsible for 18 penalties in the last two seasons and given up 10 sacks. He suffered a torn Achilles as a rookie and then missed 8 games the next season with a toe injury. He is currently out of commission with an injury to his foot. I know what you're thinking. Where is the upside to this guy? Well, his ability to play both sides of the line may be invaluable if used in the right schemes, and he's still young and athletic. The young man may be a bright spot for an offensive line that needs a little kick in the right direction. We've got another Las Vegas Raider on our list. Rock Yassin, cornerback, Las Vegas Raiders. NFL teams are always looking to bolster their secondaries. Being able to cover downfield is more important than ever in today's game. Teams are throwing more than ever, and this coming stock of free agent secondary players is full of quality talent. With with players like Jesse Bates, Von Bell, James Bradbury, and CJ Gardner-Johnson all becoming available options. Yasin's career was off to a slow start in Indianapolis, starting 13 games as a rookie and then tapering off to 16 starts over the next two seasons. It is hard to find your rhythm as a player when your time on the field is so hit and miss, but now with the Las Vegas Raiders, Yasin has seen a re-emergence. He's been quietly very good. He has started 90 2% of the defensive snaps this season, while missing one game early on due to injury. The Raiders' season is a wash at this point. Their playoff hopes all but gone. So from here on out will be an opportunity for Yasin to showcase his skills for the rest of the league. 
If he keeps up his play, he may be an excellent bargain for a team who wants to add another second level defender. What do you guys think? This was a lot of fun. The puzzle of free agency is always exciting. Are there any prospective free agents not on our list? Let us know. In the meantime, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.